Jaws, uh, which came out in the mid-70s, really made everyone feel like if they got into the water, they risked being attacked instantly by a shark. And so, I, you know, you can give people the odds, you can tell them that they're more likely to be injured by a Christmas tree ornament or lightning, an elephant. But in our popular culture, the idea of a shark attack has become so dominant that really we have a disproportionate fear of being injured. I've swum with a whole array of sharks. I've been cage diving with great whites off South Africa. I had an incredible time swimming with whale sharks off Isla Holbash. It's an interesting combination of almost whale watching and also being in the water, which I love, that you're kind of really struck by the physicality and the enormity of the creatures, but it's a much more immediate sensation than, say, sitting on a boat just looking at a massive animal from afar. Sharks are critical to the health of the ocean as the top predator in the sea. They help regulate all of the life underneath them. They're a great example of what you call adaptive radiation. They've been around for hundreds of millions of years, and they've changed in terms of how they look morphologically to best suit their environment. So there's just this incredible array of body types. The whale shark, the biggest fish in the sea, uses a filter feeding system rather than scary jaws in order to consume microscopic organisms. Hammerhead sharks have a flattened out head, which for lack of a better term, looks exactly like a hammer, and it allows their eyes to be spread wide apart. Researchers are looking into this right now and have theorized that one of the reasons they have such an unusual head is because it provides them with excellent peripheral vision. Thresher sharks have these long tails that they literally whack their prey. Wobegons are carpet sharks that are at the bottom of the sea and actually look like a flying carpet. One of my favorite recently discovered species is the Raja Ampat walking shark that is able to walk using its pectoral fins. There's a range of technology that's really allowed scientists to understand more about sharks. There's just been advances in what kind of tags you can attach to sharks. It's certainly more basic radio telemetry tags, but more recently satellite tags that give us a sense of these incredible migrations that sharks can do. We now have a sense that they can cross ocean basins, that they can go to extraordinary depths. Whale sharks dive to you know more than a mile underwater, which is something that, again, we didn't realize. We have a lot of unanswered questions when it comes to sharks. One of the biggest ones is really how they breed. That's one of the most elusive acts that a shark can do, and there's still really a huge lack of, of knowledge on where their breeding grounds are and where they pup. And that, of course, is really significant because those are areas that researchers would want to conserve if they knew where they were. So there are a few basic threats to sharks. One of the top ones is the fact that they're targeted worldwide for their fins because that's part of an Asian delicacy called shark fin soup. There are roughly 73 million sharks a year that are killed just for their fins. There are other reasons why they're killed, including the fact that they're caught as bycatch, as an accidental catch, when in fact fishermen are setting out lines for swordfish and tuna. And then there's also habitat destruction. For example, if you rip up a mangrove in the Bahamas, which has been a nursery for lemon sharks, and you also are dumping soil and contaminants into that area, there's researchers who have demonstrated that that takes a toll on sharks as well. I think that people are on the cusp of realizing something is going on with sharks. It's something that's kind of beginning to permeate the public consciousness, but it really does need a little extra boost for people to recognize that we can harm this thing that normally we've been so terrified of for centuries.